Robert Browning, 1812 to 1889, was a prominent English poet known for his dramatic monologues and contributions to Victorian literature. He was born in London and had a keen interest in poetry from a young age. Browning's works are often characterized by their exploration of complex psychological and moral themes. He was married to the famous poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning and is considered one of the great poets of the Victorian era. Owen will now read Browning's Home Thoughts from Abroad. I will discuss the poem after. Oh, to be in England, now that April's there, and whoever wakes in England sees some morning unaware that the lowest boughs and the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bowl are in tiny leaf, while the chaffinch sings on the orchard bough, in England now. And after April, when May follows, and the white throat builds and all the swallows, hark where my blossomed pear tree in the hedge leans to the field and scatters on the clover, blossoms and dewdrops at the bent spray's edge. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over, lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine, careless rapture. And though the fields look rough with hoary dew, all will be gay when noontide wakes anew, the buttercups, the little children's dower, far brighter than this gaudy melon flower. This poem is a reflection on the beauty and nostalgia of one's homeland from a distant place. In it, the speaker muses on the contrasting experiences of the English springtime in the countryside and the sights and sounds of England while abroad, possibly in Italy. Home thoughts from abroad captures a sense of longing and homesickness as the speaker pines for the natural beauty and familiar scenes of England, including the blossoming flowers, the thrush's song and the green landscape. The poem evokes a deep sense of nostalgia and a yearning for the familiar, suggesting that even when one is far from home, the memories of one's homeland remain vivid and cherished. It's a lyrical and evocative portrayal of the enduring connection people have with their native land. <laughs> 